हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू ग्रेड अप टिल नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन प्रपोजिशन लॉजिक दैट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर गेट एंड राइट नाउ वी विल बी सींग सम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन सो पे अटेंशन ओके लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द करेक्ट फॉर्मूला फॉर द सेंटेंस इज नॉट ऑल रेनी डेज आर कोल्ड सो नॉट ऑल रेनी डेज आर कोल्ड सो वी हैव दिस सेंटेंस नॉट ऑल रेनी डेज आर कोल्ड यू कैन ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्टेटमेंट लाइक दैट देर इज सम डे देर इज सम रेनी डे दैट आर नॉट कोल्ड बिकॉज टू फॉल्स द फॉर ऑल वी जस्ट नीड अ वन काउंटर एग्जाम्पल फॉर ऑल फॉर टू मेक द फॉर ऑल फॉल्स वी जस्ट नीड वन काउंटर एग्जाम्पल so you can also understand this statement like that there is some rainy day that are not cold and we need to find which one one of them is correct okay so let's see first one for all day d is representing day okay for all day day is rainy and not cold so that is not correct one um, that is not obviously correct for all d day if day is not rainy that implies cold day is cold that is also not correct actually what i told you there is some rainy days that are not cold that is the another meaning of that statement and we need to find which one of these four are those so there is some day that there is some rainy day that are not cold okay uh, see this there is some day that is not rainy implies that is cold okay this is not also because if day is not rainy that implies day is cold no it is not correct so let's see there is a day there exists a day that is rainy and that is not cold that is what we are i am saying this is the another meaning of that is the statement so our correct option will be d okay that question comes in gate 2013 okay what is the logical translation of the following statement none of my friend are perfect so none of my friend are perfect none of my friend are perfect okay so let's see there exist a x such that x is my friend and x is not perfect so it is like that if there is one friend of yours that is not perfect but the sentence is saying that none of your friend is perfect none of your friend is perfect so it is wrong okay there exists a x such that x is not the friend of your so it is become wrong because it should be friend of your okay it should be your friend there exists a x again this is wrong because if it is not of fx then um, seeing the whole sentence let's see there exists a x such that x is we will be not seeing this not okay we will be not seeing this not we first we will be seeing that portion and then we will be seeing that. so there exists a x such that x is your friend and x is perfect so there exists a friend that is your there exists an x such that x is your friend and it is perfect and you are taking the negation of it so that means this you are taking the negation of it that means there will be no such friend there does not exist any such friend that is perfect so that is the meaning of the sentence so try to understand the statement it's all about understanding the statement okay so answer d is the correct one see this question let p q r denote the statement it is raining so it is p what it is it is p it is q and it is pleasant it is pleasant will be denoted by r okay then the statement it is not raining and it is pleasant and it is not pleasant only if i think something is there it is not raining and it is pleasant and it is not pleasant only if it is raining and it's cold is represented by so this is the full statement it is not raining and it is pleasant okay and it is not pleasant only if so again this only if come i tell you various form of p implies q that are really important they will come again again in the question itself so only if 
सो पी ओनली इफ क्या पी ओनली इफ क्या दैट मीन्स पी इंप्लाइज क्या ओके इट इज नॉट रेनिंग एंड इट इज प्लीजेंट एंड इट इज नॉट प्लीजेंट ओनली इफ इट इज रेनिंग एंड इट इज कोल्ड ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल बी सींग दैट स्टेटमेंट इट इज नॉट रेनिंग एंड इट इज प्लीजेंट सो इट इज नॉट रेनिंग दैट इज मीन नॉट ऑफ पी एंड इट्स प्लीजेंट मीनिंग इट्स आर सो दैट इज हेयर also here also here also here in four of the option we have that statement okay now and so it is not pleasant okay it is not a pleasant only if so that will be it is represented by r so not of r implies it is raining and it is cold so the first one see here not of r implies p and q so i told you that p only if q means p implies q so it is not pleasant that will be come should come here not of r only if it is raining and cold that should be come at that part after the implication and there will be having a conjunction so that's why option a is correct there is no need to see other options that option a is matching perfectly you will see that uh, they are doing uh, opposite what they are doing they are doing and uh, they are doing like that uh, only they are understanding only if as q implies p in this code in this statement so that is wrong so what is important to understand these these form is very important they come again and again in the question so try to understand them here also they are doing that uh, they are understanding q implies p so p only if q they are understanding that statement as q implies p but it is wrong it should be p implies q and how will you understand that thing once you understand the statement properly and see the previous slide in which where i mentioned all the various form of p implies q so see the next question and that come in gate it 2007 which one of the first order logic formula is valid so what does a, when a formula is valid when it is true, always true means it is also tautology okay so we will see for all x p of x implies q of x okay for all x p of x implies q of x that implies for all x p of x imp implies for all x q of x so take variable so i will restricted my domain to x1 and x2 okay here p x1 and x2 and there will be q so this is saying that for all x if px is true then qx has to be true if px is true then qx has to be true this is what it is saying so i it can be false then it, i don't know what it can be it can be false and true but if it is true then it has to be true that is what it is saying and this implies that if this is implies if for all x px is true this means that for all x qx is true yes uh, you are not be able to understand it i will tell you <coughs> you understand this for all x px implies qx i have taken two domain x1 and x2 two elements in the domain and i restricted my domain to that element and seeing that uh, where, what will happen when i do with this domain so this statement is saying that if qx is true px is true then qx has to be true if it is false we can't say anything this implies that okay this is implies that if for all x px is true if this is true then obviously this has to be true because this statement is saying that whenever px is true qx has to be true and we are saying here suppose this is true then obviously it become true so this seems to be a valid one another way to that question is to taking by example in statements so taking statement and doing that uh, it will be very logical and it is also very good so try to do that also see the next option so this is correct this is valid it is valid there exist an x p of x or q of x implies there exist so how to do that we will be p q x1 x2 so there exist an x such that px or qx is true so we it is true for any suppose p is true for x2 okay then this statement become true what we are going to try now we are going to try to 
assign this as true and this as false because in that case it will not be valid i told you previous lecture that we will trying to do this thing again and again to see whether it is a tautology or a valid so i have assigned true value here because uh, x2 is true p of x2 is true so this become true now see can i get false here so there exists a x such that p of x implies there exists a x q of x so that means there exists as x p of x is true okay this is true that implies there exists x and q of x no it is false see it is false here this is true and this is false so we get true and false and we all over we get false and see here true and false so this is not the valid one this is the one way to do that the, these question another way to understand them by statement so and uh, we will be seeing third option there exists a x px and qx is true so that's mean uh, for x both px and qx is true so i can take this as true okay and uh, this is by implication so what does by implication means p by implication q is equal to p implies q and q implies p so this is what the by implication means so here right now we are seeing for p implies q but we have to again see for q implies p we have to see that so this is become true here we become true see if we here can get false there exists a x such that px is true okay there exists a x such that px is true uh, okay we have to and there exists a q says that px is true so yes if this statement is true for both then obviously this become true it is true so q implies p is true but see whether we can get q p implies q is true can we get q implies p as true so for this we will really try to make this as true and uh, and see whether this can be true false if we get this as false and this as true we can say that this is not a tot valid or a tautology so let's see so there exists a x px is true okay and uh, i am removing this and there exists a y q x is true so i am making this as true and this as false okay i did this so there exists an x such that for p x p p x is true and there exists a q such that q x is true so for this this statement become true but see is it is happening that there exists a x p x and q x is true no both are not true but this is true and it is not happening so this become false and this is true so that means q implies p is false and uh, true and false always give false so this is also false so it is not a valid one it is not a valid one valid are those that are always true means that are always tautology so it is not okay there exist a x for all x there exist a y p of x y okay so you can understand that statement like that for all x everyone for everyone there is someone that likes everyone so okay let me for all x there exist y p of x y for all x everyone is liked by someone you can understand this statement as everyone is liked by someone everyone is liked by someone is that implies there is exist an x such that it likes everyone so see understand it properly so this statement is saying that everyone is liked by someone okay and what this statement is saying that uh what this statement saying that there exist a y such that for all x x likes y so that is saying that there someone there exist there is someone that is liked by everyone okay there is someone that is liked by everyone if you considered p x y as uh, p x y as x likes y then this statement means that there is someone that is liked by everyone and this statement means that for all x so everyone everyone is liked by someone everyone is liked by someone and everyone is liked by someone understand it everyone is liked by someone and this is there exists an x that somebody is liked by everyone is this implies so it is not implying 
if you understand the meaning of statement both this statement is not in blank so it is also not true so the only option that is valid was a okay there are various form way of doing it i did it all the ways first i will trying to be the statement then i am telling you that try to assign this as false and this is true and then prove that it is not valid if you are successful if you are not able to do so that that that's mean it is a tautology or a valid statement and the second way is to do this small restricted your small domain and seeing what are outcomes you are getting so we ha i have covered all three ways to do that so practice them as much as you practice them you will be getting confident okay which one is more important in this form this one you assign this as false and this as true that is very important okay so that's all from preposition logic and we will be do practice actually it is all about understanding the statement better the more you practice the more you gain in it it is very easy topic once you understand it you don't need too much in it and also it is very important okay so don't leave that topic thank you